Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video. So today we are doing something very special. We haven't done one of these in a very, very, very long time. So actually I don't even think I did one of these before. Like um, I used to do these by like, when I just started YouTube, um, like th back three years ago, or um, back in 2009, 2020, 2020, so two years ago, um, musicality tutorials. So um, we're gonna start with, we're gonna make this brand new series today. Since this week, this Thursday is our 100 sub drop anniversary. Um, so yeah. Thank you all for the support. I really appreciate it. And so today we will be doing it on the list on Suspiro. Since we are also doing it for the December concert or the Christmas concert, concert in other words. Um, yeah, so it's a very beautiful piece. And I really want to show you some um, how I learned this piece and then some tips I got from my teachers that is very beneficial for uh, playing this piece and yeah i hope you, i hope you enjoy and here we will start. so give me a second while i get this book so it opens with the first thing so this piece is a very long piece and on the unusual thing is i mean in my version it has three lines three things so you have the let me play for play the first page. So that's the first thing. You really want this to stand out, you know, because it's the melody, right? You want it to stand out. It's like, you don't want to sound, it sounds like, I suggest using the, um, that, so the, left, the melody is done by two, both hands. So. very long ago but i didn't really get into it that much i never got to over that i only stopped to um yeah. in that much emotion to it at the beginning because you want to surprise you or I was like you put that too much emotion in the beginning you want you won't have that much of the surprise in the end right so you want to phrase this not as emotional what you want to emphasize is here So, um, yeah, so, this first thing like, is just not that emotional. So, so not that emotional, so, but it still has to stand out, obviously. 
And then first and then to get used to the thing. Get used to the things that we can put the broken chords on the second and third stave, I suggest. First thing the chord is then obviously you can't break this one up unless you're you can reach to a tenth, obviously. So you have rec right enough man, it's like I can't reach I can't do it to get her. This part is one of my favorite parts. Something like I think Italian for a sign. So you really want to make it just like a sign. Just this is where you put the most. There is this next part where I love much. This narration. That's my favorite version. That's the melody. So I'll also, I want to 
just mentioned it. Um, some people do. Some people just don't go like. Instead of like normal octaves. They go like. Oops. suggest that you know i think it's more comfortable doing it because you have to go jump right unless you play it very slowly yes. I, I can't i i have no idea why people would choose that finger but well, that's their choice Instead 
Don't. Don't like. Instead of emphasizing that last E, don't. No. Same thing with this song. So make it soft. So you, when you, you have a crescendo. From the It's inconceivable. Anyways, the, this part. Um, the last hand is hard. Not 
this is the, this is not a, even the most difficult. This this that's difficult. <laughs> Contains one of the most difficult techniques. If you never watched, you should watch my um, top ten most difficult piano techniques. Um, it uh, I don't I don't remember if that is the exact title, but anyways, um, it was in the Joshua Chen Repeats series. Um, so just the problem is, how are you gonna? Okay, so smoothly, very smoothly, even without making the I had to, I had this very common. It's a common problem. It's a common problem to break these chords up when you can't because they're supposed to be chords. Um, the suggestion is very. It was very helpful for my teacher. Um, he said, do it in different rhythms. It's slower. Like. You want to nail these chords. And then later this. You don't have to do the god for it. First do it um with anyway. Also, um, Ravel Gaspard in another way, do it. Um, like there is one section that that also has this kind of technique, so it's why that's that's so another reason why that piece is really difficult. Um, anyways, so here. <laughs> Do it first, then you do it. Right hand is always going to be the harder part. So, the, so then work on the left hand later. So okay. So one thing is here that the rhythm is pretty hard to play. Yeah. Okay. Not really. Not really for you, probably. But And um, also the same, apply the same thing with uh, what I taught you. So you can do.
lessons. When you get to uh, to um, slow it down. I, I'm still even working on this. This is this is a really hard part. two cadences. Audio one is harder. Um, this one's just chromatic scale too. But it's really easy for the uh, uh, septic hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So then we have this. Does this remind you of anything? Uh, don't go that far. Just think of the piece. What section does this remind you of? Chorus. This. It's the minor version. Whatever changes the key from, from major to minor, so basically that's how it. It's not a new melody, right? So you do the same thing. So, so to open this up. Actually, no, not a question. This is actually a song. This is where you can express this. This reminds me of Algar, you know, the cello concerto. Like, um... not this part, man. Never seen the if you have never seen the the cello concert, they say 
Um, there is by Benjamin Zander. Um, he says it's like it's part of just like a song. Right? It's like it's like yeah, it's the same thing. Like right, it's semitone is different. The semitone a part of it. So. Another section like this in the pen is the same thing. So you have to voice it the same way. It's just so just remember this. So I have to, so I have to repeat, repeat it again the next time. <laughs> Part. It's the finger wave. 
My dick is actually very happy. Every tip out, no other finger works. There's only one exactly thing that works. You don't get the, if you figure out some other random fingering, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be very, I don't know, that I might be exaggerating, but okay. <laughs> it's what says suffrage, this part. It suffered a lot to this one. It's like extremely hard. <laughs> Son of a bitch. The last hit this time. I don't know why, but it doesn't have it. So I'm not gonna count that. If you guys have it, you guys have to work it out work it on your own. So um then it's my favorite part. And it's also one of the hardest parts to voice. It's the hardest part to voice. Because instead of you you don't have to like this. Thank you. 
I was like, I was gonna go like, I got a lot of boredom. Okay, so how are you gonna start? How? The best way I would, I prefer. Read Tartando on the Pilot. So let's just focus on the right hand. Okay. Second part. The second part, more emotion. More emotion. Okay, 
this up. <laughs> the crossover with the left hand. That's why I do that. Instead of going with the I hate that five. I, ha I hate using the five with the right hand. It's like yeah. it's very hard to reach anyways. It's gonna be hard to do it accurately. This is the melody. You have to make that as accurate as possible. So that's what I meant. <laughs> Thank 
last chords you make that. Don't just think this at random arpeggios. They mean a lot. It kind of reminds me of that um, Bring Up One More Sonata that we heard. Yeah, there was something like this. It was something like this. Also broken arpeggios, but it wasn't as meaningful as this is. Right? So. Oh, also one thing, before you get to that, right? <laughs> crescendo Climax, I would say, because the, the, the climax is harder than the other one. If you just go suddenly loud, it, it, it's suddenly soft, it wouldn't make sense at all, right? It wouldn't, you don't go like. Actually, I suggest no crescendo at all until you reach the basis. Then highlight that F. Um, not now, thank you. Okay, so, um, I do 
don't suggest a crescendo. So, to conclude this video, we will play it once. And hopefully, hopefully this video is very beneficial. I hope so. <laughs> or else it's a good thing. Of course, I'm still working on this, and I still have this per the performance of this piece will be still in two months. Um, it's October 2. We it's October the 2nd. We don't have we don't have a planned date yet. But we will. So, um, performance for us for this video I mean. <laughs>